That's right, it's that time again for more Boombox reviews, real boomboxes, early 80s. Here is the General Electric Model 3-6035, and it's a sleeper. It's a very unusual boombox from 1983 through 1984. It is extremely hi-fi, puts out incredible bass, and outperforms a lot of boxes that are bigger and more powerful than it. So, and one of the things you'll notice about it is as a digital tuner and clock, which is also a timer. Very unusual for an early 80s boombox. I love this box. It's a very fantastic performer. But I discovered some other things doing some research and obtaining things. That's right. There's another one of the General Electric Electronic Tuning System. This is the model right underneath, the GE Model 3-6025. And it is a mini boombox. I mean, I'm just, it doesn't just say because it's small. It's tiny. I mean, look at the size of the cassette deck in contrast to the rest of the unit. But it's another one of those things where big things come in small packages deals. But first, I managed to get a hold of the original instruction manual for the 3-6035. So there's that. There's that, the warranty information. Your warranty card and the receipt from Hess's. December 17th, 1984 for $170.13. Must have been on sale for that Christmas. But what struck me was this little booklet here. Guide to the magic of electronic tuning systems from General Electric. The intelligent tuners from GE. This book covers three different models. And this is where I got my attention. Uh, see, there's the 25 and 35, which is what I'm gonna be demonstrating tonight. The 15 is a monorail boombox. There was one on eBay recently and I missed it, but it uses the same exact tuner and it's got to be rare. But the rarest one of them all is my dream box I hope to obtain someday, the 3-6045. The only picture online is an incredibly blurry image someone posted on Wiki Boombox. It's very blue. So anyways, yes, you have the behemoth here, the 35, before we get into the 25, the mini boombox, let's take a look at this since it applies to it. 10 station memory, F FM and AM. All push button function controls, dual function liquid crystal display for a clock, timer, and exact radio frequency readout. Automatic search for strong stations. Precision radio tuning. No drift tuning. Locks in stations. Timer feature included on all models except the 3-6015. Interesting. I'm not going to read out all these pages, but at least I'll just uh, skim through it. And if you want to see something, just pause it. I'll comment on certain things like, like this uh, 25 uses two double A's to keep memory and the clock running when it's unplugged. Automatic station scan and search. Let's see, quick station scan. Store up to 5 AM and 5 FM stations in memory. To recall stations, set the time of day. The clocks are pretty accurate because I only set these, I only reset them, you know, in the area of daylight savings and stuff. They both keep accurate time. How to set the on timer. How to set the off timer. Activate timer for radio. And there's what I went over when I did the 3-5, how to do timer for tape play and record. Activate timer for tape, activate time for tape record. And what is this last section here? Uh, just the table of contents. So yeah, that's the um, instructions on how to use the electronic tuning system on this. We bring good things to life. So yeah, I've actually had this since July 29th, 2022. 
only now getting to do the video. So inside the unit, it has a TAM radio transformer, very high quality Japanese transformers. As you can see, it's a very compact unit, but it still has all the essential components in it. Um, they didn't skimp on anything, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, very well laid out. All the connectors are socketed. The speakers are Alnico magnets. That's why it's so tiny. They're able to fit it in there. Um, but yeah, it's built just as good as the big boys, but it's in a very compact size. And there it is with the tape transport removed. Just looking around inside there. Yeah, everything socketed. You could easily unplug it. It was meant to be serviced. It's not, you know, it's not disposable. It was, these were good things. That's, they paid for it. They were, you got what you paid for. I mean, it's 40 years later, and all I did was change the belt and lubricate the tape transport. There it is. Got it taken apart. Metal flywheel. Yes, it is 1984. They started getting using plastic inserts on the flywheels, but it's still, you know, much different than the anything after that, the Tanishins, blah, blah, blah. Um... It has a solenoid in it to control the music location uh, search system. And there's the motor. It's a 6-volt motor. New belt. I put a drop of oil on the bearing, put a drop of oil on the um, capstan bearing because it was stiff. Like It didn't even want to turn when I got it. And here is the tape transport. Still has a rubber idler for play, for dampening any vibrations. But see, it had a really long tape counter belt, but it is coming from the take up reel. The original belt was a round belt, but it still had the proper grooves, so I replaced it with a square belt. All you have to do is just make sure the belt's not twisted. And there you go. So I replaced it with a square belt. And yes, it is unusual. It ha it's not full auto stop despite it having music location search, music search. It still is playback and record only auto stop. But it's just so odd. It goes from a mid size boombox that's borderline a full size, relatively large, to this mini boombox. I mean, here's the size of a cassette in contrast to it. See, it's small. But just because it's small doesn't mean it can't perform either, and that's what I'll get into. Yes, that is an actual tweeter. It's a real boombox. It has stereo microphones, digital clock, tuner, timer, your ta standard tape counter. Everybody, every manufacturer always said something like soft eject, cushion eject, or automatic stop. That was just the thing. Music location system. Yes, it has music search. It even says it is a mini AM, FM stereo cassette recorder. But your tuner mode, AM, FM, FM stereo. Then you have tape, radio, and auxiliary off. Timer, radio, and yes, even this tiny little box has auxiliary inputs. Standard tape transport controls in chrome. Look how shiny that thing is. But this is where it really stands out. Yes, it has separate bass and treble controls. Obviously, I do have the bass on max because it is small, but it can deliver. It even has a balance control and volume control. And a really big antenna for such a small unit. And it, it's heavy. This, you got to pick this thing up and you're like, what? Yeah, this is not what you're used to. This is a real boombox. Real boombox is sort of faded out after about the mid-80s. There's your auxiliary left and right inputs. As we come down to the back, see, we have your beat cut oscillator switch, which won't focus. Now it focuses. Well, it says something else below. Oh, it even has a distance and local switch for the um, tuner. Very nice. And it even tells you uh, the battery types. Two double A's for the electronic display battery. And it takes, what does it take? It takes six C cells. There's your information there. Replaceable antenna and bleh. replacement antenna screw. So let's come around to this side here. 
And it even gives you a headphone jack, a 9 volt DC in jack, and an AC input. And let's see, we can open this up. Yep. Carbon zincs don't leak, so I just leave those in there. I would say this model isn't too terribly rare, but um, I bought this a year ago and only one has ever shown up since. And it caught me off guard because it was like, I saw the model number, I saw this, this is identical, but it's such a tiny unit. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's try to demonstrate the tuner while trying to avoid the copyright police. And to do this, I'm gonna put two microphones up against it. Maybe we'll get some good stereo separation. I don't know, I've never tried this before. Nation, you could win season tickets for the next 10 years Virginia and West Virginia. Talk back button on our iHeartRadio app and let it. Somebody appears to love the Lord. Open. Are they able to pray for those? He demonstrated to the full his Garoppolo in the shotgun. Also was at the news conference in Utah. My A's. That's a So much modern stuff is not shielded. Yeah. If you watch Fox, most of their... My Christ, who knows where all the bones are buried in... There's fall promotion. That's TrustPJ.com. This is an important notice to consumers facing $10,000 or more That's in credit card debt, That's medical bills, or other unsecured debt. You may not be required to pay it all back because there are special and programs now in effect that will significantly reduce the amount you will owe if you qualify. This is not bankruptcy or a debt consolidation. Turn off before the copyright police hits. But yeah, you can see this little box sounds great, and it can go plenty loud. Um, it's a sleeper. So let's try cassette operation, then we can try cassette operation plus timer. So for cassette operation... Alright, so for test tape, do the copyright police, I'm going to try something. Uh, we play a game called Terrors of Nowhere on VR Chat, and... Whoever made the world did a very good job on the soundtrack. It's borrowed from a lot of other things which are pretty much independent. And I like it. And I made a cassette of it. And there's no copyright police on it, so I'm going to try it.
test record operation with the built-in microphones see it does not have one touch record that's before that even really became a thing wait for the leader to pass okay testing the general electric model 3-6025 mini boombox stereo microphone operation using the built-in microphones left microphone test test Right microphone, test, test, and it got all the focus too. Wait for the leader to pass. Okay, testing the General Electric Model 3 6025 mini boombox. Stereo microphone operation using the built in microphones. Left microphone, test, test. Right microphone, test, test, and it got all the focus too. Let's play it back. Very good stereo separation and very good fidelity. Obviously it picks up a little bit of cassette noise, but it's in a quiet room. This does not have built in or this does not have external microphone jacks on it, just auxiliary inputs. Now we can try recording off the radio. Let me see if I can find something. When your employer gives you a choice of health plans, choose UPMC Health Plan. You'll have access to the best doctors and hospitals, including the top-ranked care of UPMC and many community hospitals near you. UPMC Health Plan gives you an award-winning health care concierge team and a partner who puts you and your health at the center of all we do. Choose what's best. Choose UPMC Health Plan. Visit upmchealthplan.com slash best for more information. After you've been seriously hurt on the job, who decides when you're better? Who decides when your treatment is over? Who decides when your benefits are over? Who decides when your suffering is over? Insurance company doc. Community hospitals near you. UPMC Health Plan gives you an award-winning health care concierge team and a partner who puts you and your health at the center of all we do. Choose what's best. Choose UPMC Health Plan. Visit upmchealthplan.com slash best for more information. After you've been seriously hurt on the job, who decides when you're better? Who decides when your treatment is over? Who decides when your benefits are over? Who decides when your suffering is over? It but that's why I love these, not just because it performs better. The cassette decks on these are the main focal point for me. They are fantastic performers. It's something you'll never see beyond the early 80s on a boombox ever again. All right, we'll do this for 9.38 p.m. for on time. Off time. Let's see, hit that, that now. Make it nine thirty nine.
All right, so clock, on time, off time, check the radio. You can see that. Okay, no. All right, so I got the, ra the tuner set. So what you, we got to do, you got to put it in timer mode, which is a button here. Hit down and record. Nothing happens. Now we play the waiting game. And there we go, off again. And I'm not going to replay that because of copyright police, but you get the idea. You can timer record stuff. Timer record uses a wake timer. Lots of possibilities with this thing. So yes, even though it's a very tiny unit, it does put out a lot of bass considering the size of the speakers. But yeah, once you get past the mid-80s, everything on audio is on the audio side really kind of going downhill. That's why I got this fascination with real boomboxes, early 80s and before. They're totally different than what I was used to growing up. Uh, when I grew up, by the time I got boomboxes, they were late 80s onward, and we all know how those perform. But this, this is back when they were expensive, and they performed the part one last thing i'm going to try without these microphones i'm going to use my camera's built-in microphone from across the room volume up halfway and it's loud at that. And for size difference. So that concludes this tour of the 1984 General Electric Model 3-6025. So for the next upcoming video, I present to you yet another miniature boombox. This General Electric. It's the Model 3-5285A from 1981. Three years older. Looks it. It's actually heavier and it's just this small. But it's another big things come in small packages deal with this performance and everything. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching.